From the I-Team tonight, the State Ethics Commission director calls it dark money. Money raised in Georgia for political action committees, but never made public. Now, the reason Georgia law makes it hard to find out how some PACs get and spend their money. Senior investigative reporter Dale Russell has been tracking one particular PAC that's linked to Atlanta City Council President Cesar Mitchell. You've been following this for six months now, Dale. Yeah, it's been a good long while, yeah. Sine. It surely has. The PAC is called Atlanta Next, and like any state PAC, it can raise unlimited money from donors. But it doesn't have to report the money unless it contributes at least $25,000 to a candidate. So are they? We wanted to find out. Last October, heavy hitters from across the city gathered at the Echelon Golf Club. This is a fundraiser for a political action committee called Atlanta Next. Atlanta Next is registered with the State Ethics Commission. Though you don't see his name, all signs point to the Atlanta City Council President and possible mayoral candidate, Caesar Mitchell, as the center of the pack. I know that a lot of people are wondering whether or not I'm going to run for the mayor of Atlanta, and you've got is that what this uh, is? folks know it is not. So what exactly is Atlanta Next? We know this PAC is tied to Caesar Mitchell, but how much money has it raised? Who donated the money? And how does the PAC spend its money? Well, Georgia law says sometimes PACs don't have to answer those questions. We know this. Atlanta Next is a prolific fundraising machine. A tournament like this could raise a lot of money? Absolutely. We asked 20-year veteran of political fundraising, Leanne Gillis, to review what we found. That golf tournament? Sponsorships as high as $5,000, $500 to sponsor a hole, and $800 for a foursome to tee off. You could raise $100,000, I, I would think. Without much trouble? Sure, I would think so. Next, we showed her Atlanta Next's fundraising for last year. Sponsored events across the country, from Los Angeles and Washington, D.C., to snazzy events at local plush hotels, restaurants, and private homes. Well, they've definitely raised a, a nice amount of money fundraising at that, at that level and um, with that frequency throughout the year. I mean, that's typical of a congressman or a statewide elected official. At the Atlanta Golf Tournament, the sponsors included vendors who were already doing business with the city of Atlanta, like airport food vendors, Global Concessions, and Hoji branded foods. It's simply pay to play. William Perry with the advocacy group Georgia Ethics Watchdogs has been a longtime critic of what he calls Atlanta's pay to play campaign climate. He acknowledges Georgia law allows such contributions, but he doesn't like it. The only reason a vendor is going to support a campaign is the hopes of getting a contract or continuing a contract. So it's a very bad idea for anyone to collect funds from vendors because it just doesn't feel right. So what exactly does Atlanta Next spend all that fundraising on? Trying to get answers was not as simple as you'd think. Um, can you come back another time? We first checked with Atlanta Next treasurer Keisha Carter-Brown. She was busy. Thank you. We wanted to talk with Caesar Mitchell following this committee meeting. He went back to his office and sent word. He was busy too. We got a one-page statement from Mr. Mitchell's staff saying Atlanta Next is a registered PAC and meets all disclosure requirements. That didn't tell us much. What is Atlanta Next? Tell me what it is. You've got my statement. So we caught up with Caesar Mitchell at a local development event. Mitchell wouldn't say how much was raised, but said the PAC spends money on community events he sponsors, with young people, a business conference, and a college prep series. Are you spending any of the money for no, I, yourself? No, I am not. No, I'm not. For myself, what do you mean by that? I mean, is any of the money from the PAC oh, for going campaign. for you, for campaign? No, it is not. It this is... is uh, dark money. This is money that we can't right now follow. Stephen Ritter is the head of the state of Georgia's Campaign Finance Commission, also known as the Ethics Commission. He says PACs like Atlanta Next must file regular reports of their political contributions, just like a candidate. But in Georgia, there's a catch. A PAC doesn't have to file until it spends $25,000 on a candidate or his campaign. Ritter says many states have no such threshold or a much lower one. We've not given more than $25,000 to candidates, and that is the threshold. And you are Which means we have to trust Atlanta next. I think that it's, it's not good for the voters of Georgia to just have to trust folks um, in the political arena. 
Now, Atlanta next is the only pack we could find linked to any of the possible mayoral candidates. And if it ever spends more than $25,000 on Caesar Mitchell or any other candidates, we'll let you know. Because at that point, Russ and Sine, they'll have to report. Okay, so you mentioned that some states don't have any limit at all. They, they have to declare. Why is there that $25,000 limit in Georgia? Yeah, it's a good question. In Georgia, it used to be lower. It used to be $5,000. But back in 2005, under Sonny Perdue, under a rewrite of the state ethics law, mm -hmm. it got boosted up to twenty five. dollars Now, there's some people that we've talked to that think the $25,000 threshold is much better. That When it was lower, some uh, smaller people who would get caught up in the campaign uh, game, if you will, mm -hmm. would be burdened with all the regulatory issues, that they, the filing and the reporting. Right. So they think it's good to raise it. Obviously, that's a debate. Mr. Ritter disagrees. And when you have a threshold that high, you have situations like this, where you know a PAC is raising a lot of money. We know they're spending money, right. but they say they're not spending 25000 Yeah, hence that name, dark money. That's what Mr. Ritter calls it, yes. All right. Thanks so much, Dale. We appreciate it. Dale, thanks.